Hello, fellow Cats players! I can hardly believe it's been six years since the game appeared. Is there anyone here today who has been playing since the very start? Let us know in the comments! Today, we'll take a look at how the game evolved through the years. Before it was released, there were different versions that we tried. And we swear, this was the only time any animals were hurt in development. Does this fight look… old? Not at all. The championship garage fights haven't changed that much. But can you see the classic body with three slots? All classic bodies were like this at the start. What else was different? The only garage contained only one car for the first month of the game, and the prestige system was introduced only later. Imagine having just 10 prestige levels, and that limit was the ceiling for quite a while. Four months after the launch, a very basic gang feature was introduced, followed closely by the start of the gang fights. It was also back then that some new parts appeared. Miniguns, lifters, first aid kits, shotguns, and harpoons. Fight replays is another feature that appeared pretty early. And right at the end of 2017, ta-da! Ultimate parts and the Ultimate League arrive. The choice of Ultimate parts really wasn't that big back then, so this had to be fixed. 2018 brings us the Santa set, the Dragon set, the UFO, the Wild West set, the Stove set, and the Sputnik set that is now called Land Bay This Game. We also get Ultimate Toolboxes. The Ultimate League didn't feel enough anymore, so enter the City Kings and the first ever All-Stars. This was also when some very special parts appeared that you can't get anymore. The Hot Wheels Ultimate Parts. These could be gained only while the collaboration with Hot Wheels lasted. What a pity! And what about the Championship Garage? It also got some new parts. Molotov Cocktails and Boomerangs. And now we're already in 2019, and the Championship Garage gets another boost. Welcome to Death Lamp, Energy Shield, Deep Freeze, and Anti-Gravity Wheels. The Drill, Rocket, and Chainsaw get the rotation option. And where to show off these new exciting parts? In the newly created Grand Prix, of course. Oh look, those forklifts could really lift in the past. The Ultimate Garage, meanwhile, gets some new sets. Pig and Gollum, and older parts get a makeover. 2020 kept us busy in lockdown with such useful things such as Scrap Run, High Priority Target in City Kings, Gang Milestones, Tokens, and the Diamond Ultimate League. These make for new ways to get the many resources and parts needed to level up in the game, and also new ways to compete. The only new part for the championship is the Tranquilizer Gun, but oh boy did it change the fights for a while. In the Ultimate Garage, the new sets to arrive were the Apotcut Lips, Popcorn and Magic Lamp, Metal Beast, Flower Power, and Stingy Bandit. What is the biggest feature of 2021? Some would say it's the Co-Pilots. Others would say it's the Rarity 6 parts. I'd say both. Include the Joker cards, Permobile set, Shroden Tech set, and the Flying Wheels for the Championship Garage, and the list is complete. By the way, if you think we forgot to mention something, let us know in the comments. As we step into 2022, we see the more innovative Ultimate parts like the Ducky set, the Trio of Drones, and the Halloween set. The Championship Garage also gets something fresh, the Wacky Glove and the Potato Gun. Some little but very pleasant touches like extra gang rolls and quick sales in Garage are a plus. And to spice things up, we get the quests, card passes, more prestige levels, and don't forget about rebalances of some Ultimate parts. Finally, 2023. Starting strong with new modifier cards and a new city in City Kings, switches for co-pilot skills, and the space set. What could be next? What could be bigger? Uncle Tony trained so hard to get to space for a reason. Something exciting is coming. Thank you for playing Cats.